27. Now that we know that the virgin daughter of Babylon is Edom. Isaiah 47 and 5. The Moses says, Sit thou silent. He said, Be quiet, shut up, and get thee into darkness. Into darkness. O daughter of the Chaldeans, but thou shalt no more be called the Lady of Kingdoms. You see? He said, Told him to get thee into darkness. Going back to uh, Ephesians. Six. And verse 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world. You hear that? The rulers, those that are in charge, are ruling over the darkness of this world. He told them to get in the darkness. <clears throat> now, once they got in the darkness, what, I'm, what did they do to the people? Once they got in the darkness, we'll make sure that everybody follows suit with this. Isaiah 60 and 2. Isaiah 60, chapter, the second verse. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, as he told them to get in the darkness, and gross darkness to people. See? Gross darkness means ignorance, means confusion, not knowing. Gross confusion to people, darkness. But the Most High shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. Only the one third of the 12 tribes of Israel. Going back to Ephesians 6. So you gotta have your mind right. So it can be protected by you operating in the truth. You gotta learn it, you gotta live it, you gotta apply it in your life. This truth, every day. Especially now, it says, verse 13 of Ephesians, the sixth chapter. Wherefore take upon you the whole armor of the Most High, hear that? We gotta put on the whole armor of the Most High for protection, that you may be able to withstand withstand in the day in the evil day and we're in the evil day and have we done all to stand hear what it said we're in the evil day look what it says go to Proverbs 16 and 4 let's prove you most side note man Proverbs 16 and 4 most I have made all things for himself yeah even the wicked for the day of evil and that's where we at he told us in Job 9 24 the earth is given to the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges there. If not, where and who is he? If it ain't, he ain't the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges for the I see. I just showed pictures and pictures and pictures. A picture worth a thousand words. You want to see it again? Hey, Mashiach Shai coming to judge. And he told the 12 apostles, they're going to sit on 12 thrones, judging the 12 tribes of Israel. I mean, the most high, the ultimate judge, they painted him white. So, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, so he made them for the day of evil. They do what you're supposed to do. That's what the Most High told us in Ephesians 6 and 13. You gotta stand strong in this truth. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of the Most High that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day. And having done all to stand, stand therefore. Having your loins girded about with truth. Hear that? Your loins girded about with the laws of the Most High. That's the truth. Psalms 119, 142. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth. St. John 17, 17. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. So we're getting it through the word of the Most High. His laws is true. His word is true. Ephesians 6, 14. Stand therefore, having your loins girded about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness. Put that in your spirit. The breastplate of righteousness. Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 18. He shall put on righteousness as a breastplate and true judgment instead of an helmet. Hear that? True judgment instead of a helmet. I tell you. 
Ephesians 6 15 and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace above all taking the shield of faith got to have your protection with your faith believing in the most high wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darks of the wicked hear that wisdom of Solomon 418 They shall see him and despise him, but the Most High shall laugh them to scorn, and they shall hereafter be a vile carcass and a reproach among the dead forevermore. For he shall rend them and cast them down headlong, that they shall be speechless, and he shall shake them from the foundation, and they shall be utterly laid waste and be in sorrow, and their memorial shall perish and when they cast up the accounts of their sins, they shall come with fear. And their own iniquities shall convince them to their face. That's what most I say. He gonna get the we gonna deal with them face to face. Their own wickedness is gonna com, com, convict them to their face. As it is written. Let's continue. So it says verse 17. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of the most high, the truth, the truth, the truth. And Proverbs 30 and 5, you, can, can't, you can't go wrong with this. Proverbs 30 and 5, every word of the most high, just said every word of Messiah is pure. He is a shield, a protector unto them that put their trust in him. Put your faith in him. He's a protection and a protector for those that trust in him. And thou not to into his words, lest he reprove thee, and thou be found a liar. See? And he bring all these plagues on you. That's written in this Bible. Uh, 1 Peter 1.13. 1 Peter 1 and 13. Wherefore gird up the loins of your mind. You gird up our put Close on our body say, gird up the loins of your mind the way you think. Be sober. I mean, you gotta be focused. Be sober, and you can't be drunk. Loins so much your mind. Be sober. You gotta think right. You can't be drunk. You know, my psycho shy drank wine, but he drank in moderation. If you're drunk, you got to get some help to stop drinking. Cause you can't be sober. You're not going to be focused. You can't tell me you focus when you're drunk. No. So I say be sober and hope to the end for the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Amashiach Yahushai. When he come, the revealing of Amashiach Yahushai, that grace, that grace and mercy only came to the Israelites only no one else as obedient children not fasting yourselves according to the former lust in your ignorance and you being in darkness people that's what he said ignorance is darkness confusion not knowing but as he which have called you is holy so be ye holy pure and right and righteous in all matter of conversation because it is written, be ye holy, for I am holy. And if ye call on the Father, who without respect to persons, he ought to respect to persons, he ought to respect to Israel. We as Israelites, as a nation. Judge, judges according to every man's work. Pass the time of your sojourning here in fear of the Most High. So I say, pass time of your sojourning here in fear by the most high for as much as you know that you were not redeemed 
with corruptible things. Nothing that was corrupt. My shadow shadow was not corrupt. He did not sin. As silver and gold. You didn't buy, you can't buy your way into this. No matter how much money you have. They're gonna be throwing money at us trying to trying to, you know, receive salvation. We were not redeemed with corruptible things as silver and gold for your vain conversation received by tradition from your fathers. A lot of, there was, I mean, there's a lot of things written here that we were doing that's off. And people try to say, like they try to say the pocketbook is off because of certain things. They try and uh, look at it, trying to dissect it, but they have the authority to take the proc apocrypha out of the Bible. Because there's not, it's not their book. It's our book, the Israelites' book. But with the precious blood of a Mashiach, as a lamb of the most high without blemish and without spot. That's our redemption came. Through his precious blood. As it is written. Mashiach Yahushua. So we gotta continue to be strong. We can't we can't be weak. Psalms 121. I'm just about finished. Psalms 121 and verse 7. The Most High shall preserve thee from all evil. If you're doing what he's telling you to do, you follow the guidelines. His rules and regulations, his laws, that's commandments, the Most High shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. Your soul is your body. The Most High shall preserve thee from all evil. You just gotta believe it. You gotta have faith in it. You gotta, Most High, you say you will preserve me from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Most High shall preserve thy going out. And they're coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Hello, yeah. So with that, I'm going to stop right there. We're going to continue on this in the next time we come together. And I hope you'll really look at this as encouraging to help you to be able to build up your faith in this time with the Most High, knowing that you Mashiach, you belong to the Messiah. The Messiah is the Most High. No man comes to the Father but by him. And no, and he's saying that without a New Testament. He only had the law and the prophets, so he let you know what was going on before he got there. So, if you like further, make sure you can reach me, Priest Star Wong, P.O. Box 20012, Long Beach, California, 90801-3012. Or you can call me at 562 235 if you'd like to send a donation in your tithes or offerings, you can send it to the post office box or you can send it to um, Shield of Wisdom. It's uh, PayPal, paypal.me forward slash Shield of Wisdom. S-H-I-E-L-D-O-F-W-I-S-D-O-M. And with that, may the most I keep you until we see each other again. And I'm out. Shalom.